since September 11th, colors have taken on new meaning in America. Not just the red, white, and blue, but now yellow, blue, and green as well. Colors the government says can protect you from terrorists. Not surprisingly, John Stossel is here to say, give me a break. John, I'm as frightened as anyone about terrorism, and I want my government to protect me. But will the Homeland Security Advisory System really do that? I'm skeptical. It's a yellow day in America. The big news was released this week. Our Homeland Security Director has come out with a brand new color coding system to alert you, America. Alert you to terrorist do, threats. Office like of Homeland women, Security like Chief Tom Ridge that. revealed the plan. For every level of threat, there will be a level of preparedness. Each threat gets its own color. Green, blue, yellow, orange, and red, as you can see. Red would mean the greatest threat, green the least. Under a red alert, all air traffic might be grounded. Might. None of this is mandatory, and local agencies don't have to go along. Orange might mean taking additional precautions at public events. This week, we're on yellow alert. Yellow means agencies may increase surveillance of critical locations. So, you feel more secure now? Most people we talked to didn't. Well, what am I supposed to do? Do I stay in my office? Do I not stay in my office? Do I walk outside? Do, do I pick up a phone and, and talk to somebody? I just have no idea what to do. I think all it does is scare people, make them apprehensive and more afraid of what they're doing in their life. Still, let's not jump to conclusions. Maybe this new plan will be useful. Maybe it'll work better than our previous attempts at warning systems. Remember them? These government-sent warnings were supposed to replace normal TV programming and tell us what to do in an emergency. But, excuse me, wasn't September 11th an emergency? Go! Go! Yet on September 11th, the government's alarm was silent, never used in New York or Washington. Six years before, the alarm was not sounded when the federal building in Oklahoma City was bombed, or when the World Trade Center was bombed in 1993. Some TV stations have used the warning system for weather alerts, but it's never been activated in any national emergency. They did spend millions of your tax dollars creating the system and forcing radio and TV stations to annoy us with all these tests. This is a test of the emergency alert system. The system was created when we were terrified of Soviet missiles. The government was telling us, listen to our alarms and then duck and cover. I doubt this would have helped in a nuclear attack, but they spent lots of your money on things like these films and new catchy names. First it was Conrad, but after the Cuban Missile Crisis... Conrad is out. What's new is EBS. Hey! Hey! EBS stood for Emergency Broadcast System. EBS is up to date. Under this plan, the government would take over the airwaves. Some broadcast stations go off the air. Only EBS stations remain. So why wasn't the system used, even on September 11th? Because the private media were there first. One eyewitness I talked to who was Thank goodness they didn't kick us off the air. Radio and TV stations gave out more information than most government officials even had. Mayor Giuliani has been called a hero, but right after the planes hit, he didn't seem to know more than what the media had already told us. Mayor, what's the situation right now? The situation is that two airplanes have attacked them. When it comes to getting information to people, the thousands of independent radio and TV stations are just better at it than government bureaucracies. Why must we always assume a government program is the solution? Tom Ridge says... It empowers government and citizens to take actions to address the threat. But will it really? It doesn't really tell me what I should do. It's become like a snow day thing, you know? Everybody gets to stay home from school, hey, it's an orange day. We asked Ridge's office about that, and they said the color-coded system provides a common language. People will know automatically what they're supposed to do. And by listening to local TV and radio stations, citizens would be advised to do things. So I say to all of you, well done. Color me skeptical. And now Tom Ridge wants $30 billion for the Office of Homeland Security. Why do we assume the answer to every problem is creating another government bureaucracy? Give me a break. Now, we're on condition yellow right now, right? So that means presumably the government is on higher alert with their computer systems and the borders looking for our terrorists getting in. Are they here now? 
Presumably, but this was the week that the immigration department sent a visa to Mohammed Atta so he could take flying lessons at the flight school. I just wish they would fix the old agencies before they create new ones. The White House was none too happy about that. Now, what about the emergency alert system? Is that going to be scrapped? What? Get, get rid of a government agency just because it's useless? They never get rid of government agencies. They're here forever. What's your opinion of this new Homeland Security plan? Just let us know on John Stossel's webpage at abcnews.com. We'll be right back.